All right, we are that moment where Power World is about to receive its first major update. So this video is going to be everything you missed about Power World. So let's begin. All right, first up, the infamous capture power reset bug when you use the memory wiping medicine, they fix that. Thank God, because everybody was confused about whether or not their capture power was being reset. That was actually a huge problem at the beginning of the game. So thank God they fixed that like basically immediately. Extremely high level Relaxaurus no longer attack during raids. Thank God, because I imagine people's bases were absolutely being destroyed. And that's not good. Okay, pals assigned to the breeding farm no longer just run away to do whatever they want. And also, they no longer starve because they don't require food. Very nice because they used to not be doing well. All right, they also changed the key to lift a pal from F to V. So you no longer get confused when you have a bunch of pals all on top of each other and you have a ton of eggs. Thank God. Okay, the player's pal can no longer be caught. They can't die though. Uh, the player could actually move now when you're overweight. Thank God, because before you were only able to do this. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. This. Ah, uh, okay. We we get a point. I would no longer undergo seppuku when total pals captured by the guild is around seven thousand. The game would literally just nuke itself, and by the game I mean your save, which would be very sad. They fixed yet another capture power bug, so it actually increases this time, right? Right? Okay, pals manually assigned to the breeding farm no longer sleep for a thousand years. Basically, what would happen is that you would assign your pals to your breeding farm, but they would always be permanently asleep. Well, now they actually do things in there. What What they do, I, I couldn't tell you. You no longer have to hold down the work button like some sort of slave. No, the Anubises are not slaves either. Okay, the Popo now chase you even when you're riding a pal. Before, if you were on a pal, the PIDF elite would kind of just like look around, you know, not caring. But look, no, now they actually chase you and they're very, very, very upset. All right, pals of any rank could now be condensed into pals of any other rank. So for example, I have three star Jetragon here and I have a three star Jetragon here. It will add up, but not six four because I did not condense this one to the correct number. But now it works. So your work is not wasted. It's not great. It's pretty good, right? Even gives you a helpful warning in case you inevitably fuck this up, which we all will. Pals now get stuck way less. Not only that, heat sources now add up. So for example, you'll see when Anubis builds this, the heat is actually just going way, way, way up. Now, let's see what happens if we add just one more campfire. Okay, Dig Toys is now actually useful. Look at that. Look at that. Before it used to just hit like three for some reason. That was a very odd bug. Didn't make any sense, did it? Now for the big two dotto. So the biggest thing that Pocket Pair released was Belmore. And don't do this. 900,000 HP. This is the strongest one. There's a little, there's many iterations of her. Holy shit, this is actually scary though. All right, there's a ton of new items as well. So let's run through it. Train manual gives Pals XP points. Pretty straightforward. Technical manual gives you a technology point. Ancient technology point gives you ancient technology points. Very, very useful. Okay, recovery meds. There's the recovery meds and there's the high quality recovery meds that are definitely not steroids, but they do help you recover HP. Very useful for Belenoir. So make sure and use them. Oh, more Thundercloud. So you need to get the Dazi Cloud from guess who? Dazi. And it teleports you to the nearest base really really useful and it's such a time saver make sure you use these as well then there's the ability glasses which allows you to see the hidden potential of any pal which is basically like the ivs in pokemon right so then there's the power fruit the life fruit and the stout fruit which boosts your pals iv stats which would be the attack the defense or the hp respectively there's a ring of mercy which prevents you from reducing a pal's hp below one look at that this t-fund is still alive i don't know how tell me how right Real realistically you should be dead 
And the best part is that it even works when you've mounted your pal. So, for example, right here, I'm going to use an innocent fire attack on this Chicopee, who is somehow still alive. I'm even going to use this ridiculously insane attack. <laughs> and they're still alive. All right, you get it. Right. Then there's the multi-climate Gucci shirt, which gives you both heat and cold resistance at the same time. There's the electric egg incubator, so you don't end up neglecting your baby pals. There's the ore mining site, so your dig toys can shave down its spikes. He just does this all day. Alright, and now for some of the best parts of these updates. You can now farm power fluids via Kelpsy. Look at this. Delicious. And then... <laughs> Dumud also drops high quality pile oil, which is also, I mean, legit this time. Delicious. That's, there's no way, right? Sifentera autom automatically reduces the weight of metal ore, and you don't even need to be riding her. Huh? This kind of looks cool, though. Also, very uncanny with those rocks, how they wiggle. Ew. Asagon now finds more rocks. Now, they're minerals. Jesus, Maria. Piles are now magically cured after sitting in purgatory for like some period of time. So their status effects kind of just go away if you leave them in there long enough. It's pretty kind of convenient if you think about it. You can now see how much of a target pal you've capped if you aim your pal sphere at them. Oh, huh, tell to ten. You can now fake sleep. It's really bad though because your eyes are still open. Which is very, very concerning. Alright, the monitoring stand is now useful for things other than abusing your pals. Because now you get to blacklist skills, right? Look at this. No longer do I have my Anubis mining or transporting. All I need to do Anubis is to do handiwork. And we have that now. This is, this is straight up the best update of Power World to this date. Not only that, there's no chest filters. So you could choose which types of items can be placed in the chest, which is really useful for one reason and one reason only. You can now prevent your pals from putting in all of the farmed foods into the food box which used to be so annoying if you stopped playing you should come back for this alone because this <laughs> this makes the game so much less annoying i mean the game is great but like every time i come in here and i see just random crap it's just pissed me off oh yeah pals can now transport the items that they crafted i think it's only for certain pals i'm guessing if they have to actually have the transportation skill so like anubis can transport things but you know, some of them might have handiwork, but not necessarily transportation, transportation skills. So your mileage may vary. They added in something called the antique dresser, so you can now edit your character appearance. You will be defenseless while editing. Thank you, Pocket Pay. I did not realize that would be the case. This is definitely not whiteface. Pals now stay where they put. Finally, and it actually does work. I could just put my frost in here, and all he will do. Is cool as fridge for the rest of his life. That is his only purpose. He seems to be enjoying it though. Okay, and the most important update by far is that they fixed petting pals so you could finally pet every single pal, no matter what, because it used to be broken and nobody likes that. All right, so I hope this video was informative. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe for upcoming Power World Arena content. Make sure and join our Discord for everything Power World or maybe any other game, right? There's just chill people in there. So links in the description. All right, so thank you very much for watching and uh, take care.